Hello, welcome. Uh, train Simulator is just... Well, it has already started up, but I'm just setting up the quick drive. One moment. It would be so nice. Actually, hold on. <laughs> I always forget that they've got a search feature for looking through the uh, the routes. Okay, so East Coast Mainland, there we go. Going from Peterborough to London King's Cross. Fast, of course. And the time I need to set for when we arrived, which was 8.51 am so uh, one moment there we are hello yes welcome Kanga Fango welcome Eliza hello the final leg uh, okay that should be good let's start up while that is starting in the background I will load up the maps to show you where we're going to be driving. Actually, that loaded v remarkably quickly. So might, well, might as well switch over. So, hello. Yes, there you can see stuff. So, this is our journey from Edinburgh, all the way up here, all the way down to London, down here. Previously, we made it from Edinburgh along the coast. So, hold on. From Edinburgh along the coast, past Newcastle, down past Durham, past York, all the way down to Peterborough. So now the remaining stretch is from Peterborough down to London, this bit. And we are, of course, taking the legendary A3 Flying Scotsman on this journey, which is very fun. Uh, so yeah, this is our, our journey. So if you want to zoom out to this far away, Edinburgh from up here down to there. So that's our journey compared to the rest of Europe. So from up here down to there, that's our journey. Not that short of a trip, if you look at it that way. So here we are. Uh, right. Oh, you're still thinking of a name for the yacht. Hmm. Ooh. Right, so here we are. Turn on the lights. I need to remember how to drive this thing because it's been, <laughs> well, it's been a fortnight. So, cylinder cocks open, brakes into eh, running, sure, reverse the forward, all aboard, and here we go. So we're starting, yes, at 8.51, like I said. Here we go. This is going to be fun. Beautiful coaches as well. Especially from this side, because this is the side that the sun is shining on. What's the speed limit? 30. And then going down to 25. Interesting. Okay. This is what it looks like inside. Of course. And here we go. So, again, speed limit's going to be 25 now, and then it's going to go up to 105, which we're not going to reach, but that's okay. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I'm not sure how Kango managed to get from Mesoamerica in the, to the UK this quickly, but somehow he did. Aztecs. Ha ha ha. Okay, 14 days. Mm-hmm. I missed these streams. <laughs> Um, so deciding between three names. Ariane Lam Lambo Chevy. Arian Bu Sveps Kurt Mata. Don't try to say it. I've already tried. Um, I have no idea. Uh, quid mate. 
Um, I don't know. Okay, speed limit's gone up, so we can try to attain that higher speed limit. And we're gonna need to start shoveling because we're going to use a, we're gonna use a lot of coal in this trip. Okay, speeding up past 35. Um, you want it to be funny. Hmm. But anyway, more coal. Yep, indeed. Okay, past 55, approaching 60. Royal Acadian Navy. Ah, I see. Flatten up, reverse one. We will not be reversing. There will be no reversing here. Okay, passing 65. Already got quite a bit of speed going. Polished rust bucket. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> yeah, such a uh, su such an expensive yacht named Polished Rust Bucket. That would be funny. <laughs> it would also show that the owner can take a joke. Okay, past 75. By the way, at this point, London King's Cross is 70, well, about 74 miles away. Noted. Hmm. No time indeed. St. Clinton. Hello. Welcome. How are you? Flying Scotsman's well, as you can see. <coughs> okay, just past eighty five. Need to reduce the cut up a little bit more because I uh, otherwise we'd lose too much pressure. Or we well, we'd start losing pressure, which I don't want. Very cozy. Approaching 90. And it's is it's it is it's interesting to see the tender swaying back and forth as well sometimes. Not so much on this bit because this uh, is actually quite, uh, what's the word, smooth, this bit of track. But there are definitely some other bits on the, on the East Coast Main Line where it's significantly more wobbly than this. Good. Eh, we can see it a little bit, a little bit of a shake. A bit of a wob wobble in it, a bit of a wobble indeed. <laughs> Cheers. Back I guess. Ah, so, okay, you, I was not aware that you were gone. <laughs> Approaching 95. Bing, bada, bing. Oh, whistleboard. I might have missed some. You said said cheers. Oh, cheers back. I guess. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Hmm. 
Okay, 97.3 miles per hour. One twenty five, good, good. Yeah, we're losing pressure a tiny little bit. Yeah, there are a lot of whistleboards on this bit. Yeah, that's a whistleboard. Let's see if we can get a good image from here. Actually, this might be the same place where I got the image for the other one. Ooh, that's, that's quite quick. 98 miles an hour. And... Since we're on the flat, well, actually going uphill a bit, I don't think we're going to be getting any faster than this. Yeah, we're losing a little bit of speed already. Mm -hmm. Slowly creeping up behind your ear. Hello, Mr. VGR. Uh, sorry. Hello, Miss Carol or Mrs. Carol. I'm not quite sure. I think it is. <laughs> okay, and we need, we'll need to fill in water soon because. We're down to 0.44. Let's see how long this uphill bit lasts. I'd pref prefer to do it going downhill, but if we have to do it going uphill, then... Uh, I have yet to set foot inside a flat. Hmm, interesting. Opens water tap one. <laughs> no, I'm gonna get soggy feet. Hmm. This uphill bit is lasting for a while. No, you'll get out all the fish. You'll let out all the fish. <laughs> that was so funny. I looked over just as it dragged, then I looked back as though I knew that it was going to ring. That could also be in France, couldn't it? Hmm. To the Atlantic Sea. Mm -hmm. Nope, still going uphill. Let's quick save, just in case. <laughs> the landscape's been copied from LGV. Wait, what do you mean this route's older? <laughs> we need to make sure that crown sheet is nice and wet. Mm -hmm. It is, still. I just want to see... No, it looks like this is going to last for... Although, actually... No, 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 look on the right at the bottom there. It is flattening out. We've got about a mile to go. And then I'll fill in more water. We don't want to blow up. Yes, we do not. Ah, yes, and there's the downhill bit afterwards. That's good. <coughs> Almost there. They're still playing pool back there, <laughs> apparently. Okay, and we're on the flat. So now I need to open up uh, the exhaust steam injectors. And they're open, good, good. Now I need to drastically reduce the uh, cutoff, because otherwise we're just going to be hemorrhaging steam. 
but the water level is filling back up again and we're on a downhill grade so that is good Okay, that's keeping us about uh, steady on pressure. Right. There's still play S. Carol, can you tell me who's winning? <laughs> sure, I'm on my way. To get a snack anyway. <laughs> yes. Have fun back there. Collab number three. <laughs> Indeed. There have been a couple collabs before with the AWS. Just as it rings. <laughs> Is that all going well? Yes. Good. All right. Mm, ooh, uh, dropping pressure. How much more to London? Uh, about 60 miles. Look at those wheels go. Just imagine the enormous stresses those wheels must be under. In how much time do we make it? Um. Well, according to the ETA, it's going to take us another hour and a bit. <laughs> and another downhill bit, good, good. Oh, and uh, that's enough coal for now. That is enough coal. Let's stop the stop the firing. Stop the firing. That's enough coal. For now at least. Right, need to let Rita know so she can come pick up Carol. Good. Mm-hmm. Sure. There should be a radio telephone in the brake coach. <laughs> lots of suggestions, lots and lots of suggestions, you, but you missed out just friend.
friend. <laughs> hey, it's me here, not Eliza. In Honkai Impact, Rita Rose Weiss, eh? the maid. Uh, British. I see. British maid. 125, good, good. Water levels back up to 0.58. I did not realize that a scythe was standard equipment for maids. <laughs> okay, gonna be passing Saint Niertz. However, if that's how it's pronounced, I completely forgot how that's pronounced. But we're gonna be passing it pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> the sound sounds more German to me. Yeah, it does a bit. Alright, you're back. Good, 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 good. We're about to pass St. Neots, if that's how it's pronounced. Ros White. Or Ros White. Did it sound more British? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, good. We've got 52 miles to go. Creek. Not the German word, the English word. There's just a nice long whistle for all the people waiting here. Mm -hmm. She'll be waiting for us on the platform, so step on it. Step on what? What do you want me to step on? What? <laughs> a video? Hmm. What is that video? Oh, I can't listen to that at the moment. I've, I've got to concentrate on this. Because we are actually losing a bit of pressure at the moment. Things cross, isn't it? Mm hmm. And no, we're not going to be stopping at any half platforms or anything like that. Oh, it's dark. Hold on. There we go. That's a bit better. Probably. Yes, that looks cozy. Hmm, we really do need to generate a little bit more pressure, so I'm going to reduce the throttle a little bit. We're almost at 0.8 watt level. Once we're at about 0.9, a little bit above 0.9, that's when I'll close the injectors and try to regain the speed that we've lost. But so far, we've managed to keep above 85, I reckon. Saint Neots. Neots, like you said. Neots. Good. And we're generating a bit more boiler pressure. Good, good. How's the grade? Oh, a little bit downhill, good. All still attached, good, good. Point eight six water level. Whistleboard.
<laughs> okay, we're above point 0.9 water. And we're actually still gaining speed at this point. And boiler pressure. Okay, I'll close the injectors in for like 20 seconds or something like that. At point 0.93. 0.94 By the way, full colors is winning this time. Ah, good. Thank you for the update. And let's close the injectors. Which means full throttle. And here we go. Regaining our speed. Which means, resume the shoveling. <laughs> right away, thank you very much. Okay, we've passed 90 miles an hour again. Meanwhile back here, everyone's having a lovely day. Good, good. Was Flying Spotsman ever painted in BR Exp Express Blue? I have no idea. I remember back when I used to think it was so difficult driving a steam loco using that hard on the left, but actually it's pretty easy if you have a little bit of experience, at least with a loco like Flying Scotsman. With some more uh, smaller locos, it can be a little bit more difficult to get it right. Um, yes. Ah, yeah, that reminds me. What do you think of the LTG E5000? I think it looks very impressive. I can say, so what sort of scenery would it be? Would it, would it be driving through? Like, um, would it be more mountainous or just flats or like what sort of scenery would it would it be used in commonly? Mountains. Ah, that's that's perfect. It really suits that. I think. Okay, boiler pressure is decreasing. No, I need to lower that a little bit, a little bit more. Yeah, that should be fine. That's all good. All over Romania. Mm-hmm. Almost missed that. Almost missed that. Oh look, actual traffic! Uh, <laughs> Beagle's Wade. Uh, could, Carol, could you have a look at what's on the menu in the dining car, and if it's possible send Order a salad to go and have it brought to the loco. <laughs> Noted. Anything else? Hang on, Charades. You want anything? Um, a glass of water that's about half full would be good. Or half empty, whichever's cheaper. Okay, boil pressure's doing good, coal's doing good, water level's doing good, speed is doing good. How far? 40 miles. Grade is slightly uphill.
Everything's still looking good. Hence 10 quid. That should suffice. <laughs> no, it's on the house. You're helping with the machine, with the loco. So it's on the house for you. <clears throat> ah, you can see the downhill bit here. The house, yes. And here we are, now we're on the downhill bit, bit which should help our speed as well. 0.5 water level, that's good. Oh, well, I'll be on my way then. Thank you. Dave, good point. Just sitting comfortably at around uh, 98 miles an hour. On the downhill bid, I've been on that many a time since Sid Meier's Railroad. <laughs> yeah. We should really do open t uh, multiplayer open TDD stream at some point. That would be great. But maybe we should have a <clears throat> practice game first. Or maybe it would be fun. Or maybe it wouldn't. To not have a practice game, I mean. Ring or multiplayer as well roads, maybe, but I don't know. I prefer Open TTD because in Open TTD you have so much more in-depth control over your trains, specifically through the signaling system as well as the composition of the trains. Because signaling a route like a complex intersection is just so satisfying. Even, I mean, it, same as in Transport Fever, and Transport Fever 2, and Train Fever, well, not so much Train Fever, because we didn't have diamonds there, but still. Chris Hoy's locomotion? Well, if I could figure out how the signaling system there works properly, then maybe. Rail checking 2 or 3? Mm, perhaps. But with those, with, well, with, with well, two, 2 I've not played, really. I've only tested whether it works, and it does. And 3... There's that glitch where it defaults to the half-resolution textures. Plus, again, you don't have that much control over the logistics of how the railway, specific, the railway itself is working. But you've got more, much more control over the monetary side of things. But I would, I would prefer Open TTD or Sid Meier, uh, Chris Sawyer's locomotion if I can figure out how the signals work there properly, because last time when I tried it... Um, ooh, we need more water. Hmm. Last time when, when I tried it, it... Uh, I, had a, a, I had a single track line that went up towards uh, oil fields and then came back down to a refinery, and then I had a junction that went up to the right to a, a town with a station. I could not get the train to actually branch off to go to that town station without that, without everything going that way. Even though I had the signal set up, I don't know, I'm probably missing something, but I don't know what. Except that we need more water. Um, okay, filling in, filling in, filling in. Got to reduce the throttle. Train, good, good. Okay, very nice. How's the boil pressure doing? The boil pressure is doing fine. Let's quickly save. Uh, well, I'm back. Here's the salad, the cola for Lady Eliza, and unfortunately they wouldn't give me a half full glass of water, so I just... so I got a bottle. Ah, that's okay. I have my own glass here. 
Um, so I can, let's just pour that in. There we go. Thank you. Uh, many thanks. I'll take myself some crisps. Or chips. Well, it would be crisps because it's in the UK, but <laughs> that's okay. Have some... Oh, I need to uh, keep an eye on the shoveling. I think I think that's enough shoveling for now. Well, we can we can have a little bit of shoveling going on in the background just to keep the fire mess steady. That's all good. I think that should be fine. Um, uh, have some like new fire balloons for your trouble, sky lanterns. <laughs> Let's save. I'll take them, thank you very much. Okay, just under 30 miles to go. Okay. <laughs> I will have a use for them, but not right now. That sounds... a bit worrying but I'm sure it's fine. Set the oysters to the carpenter. Anyway, uh, that's all good. Let's increase... Actually, let's, let's keep the regulator around there. That should be fine. Just under 90 miles an hour, as we're refilling water, back up to 0.4 boiler water level. Ooh, I think there's a station coming up ahead. Let's have a nice little drive through. RPG. No, just a nice little drive through. Actually, maybe from around here. Let me quickly double check. It's all good. Nice, nice. Uh, how are we doing? Everything's good, everything is good. I will have. Alright. You're welcome, good. Uh, right, Stephen Edge, up fast. South. Almost at 0.5 uh, boiler water level. There's a whole scene in Cheers where they, I believe, nor the cliff, get confused as to whether they're called chips or crisps. Couldn't find a link to it, unfortunately. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's. Ah, look, tracks down there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we do have chips here as well, only chips here are what others call fries, because if you think about it, Chips are just bits that have been chipped off of a potato. So, if you just ch uh, chip some chunks off and then fry those, then you've got fried chips of a potato. Fried potato chippings, so to say. And if you have them very narrow and then you bake those, then you've got very crispy chippings of a potato. So that's why they're called crisps, and just normal chips that are not specifically crispy. Okay, everything's still good here. Everything's good-ish. I need a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Okay, now everything's good. 100 and... ooh, 115. Example fish and chips. Wow, that actually makes a lot of sense, shall I say. Mm -hmm. So, you call these things chips instead of cri 
Rispity, crunchy, manly, crackerjack, snapper, nibble, snap, crack and pop. West, pool, Chestershire, Shire, Queen's lovely, Ghibli delight. That's kind of cringe, isn't it? Rav. <laughs> yes, totally. Ah, I just saw that video yesterday. For some reason, somehow. No idea why or how. Oh, is it a reference? I, I did not get the reference. Well win. Oh well. Well in. Well win. Let's quick save. Ah, hold on. Shut the firebox door, please. Good. <laughs> if okay. Glad I noticed that there was a tunnel coming. One should quote that. Ah. <laughs> Regarding the discussion of chips. Yeah, I I didn't I didn't even know that it was a reference. Oh there's another train there. Ooh, station. Wait, hold on, I've got to check. Okay, that's all good. This is where the speed limit um, caught us last time. That incorrect one. But this time we're staying on the fast lane. Very nice bridge. Very, very nice bridge, yes. Ooh, why are we losing boiler pressure? Hold on. That's not okay. Why are we losing so much boiler pressure? Oh, probably because the coal level dropped a little bit too much. Hmm. That's okay. Sure, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have known either, but it just happened to have seen the video it was referencing yesterday, just a few seconds long. <coughs> oh right. Hmm. Oh, of course, because the the firebox doors closed. That's why we're losing. S I mm, of course, I closed the firebox door because we were going through a tunnel and I forgot to reopen it. That's why the shoveling didn't continue. That's why we lost heat. That's why we lost steam generation rate. That's why we lost a bit of boiler pressure there, quite a bit. But luckily, I did notice in time. Hmm. Uh, this. It's this. That's it. Um. Can't listen to it, unfortunately. All right. Hmm. Okay. How are things going? Steam generation rate is going back up. Good, good. Which means I can increase the uh, regulator a bit more again. That was close. Cat said it was all. It was so relatable. Kevin, she's British. Ah. Almost, we're almost at 0.9 boiler water level again. I'll increase it. A I'll, I'll let it go until maybe 0.93 or 0.95, and then I'll close the injectors again. Very nice, super elevated. Is it super elevated? Yes, it is super elevated. Very nice. A very nice super elevated curve. Snap. <laughs> Do you know what the rearmost stripe flying on the locomotive is called? Uh, no, do you? I know you do um, quite a lot of repaints of steam locomotives, so you might know. Yeah, let's just give him a nice blast of the whistle. It's called the Firebox Cladding Band. Learned it from it heaps. Ooh. 
interesting. Okay, let's close the injector. And off we go. Now we're climbing back up past 85 miles an hour. How many miles to go? 16.75-ish. And our ETA has dropped, which is good. Train. Not mine, I mean the other one. <laughs> oh, there was some sort of station there. Okay, let's have a look. Let's quickly hop into the coach to have a look at our map. Okay, 15 miles to go. And rapidly decreasing. Good, good. And yes, the water gauges, uh, the water glasses do work properly. So you can actually see how much water's in there by those. But you can't really gauge how much fires in the, uh, coals in the firebox on this one. I know there are some locomotives where you can, uh, where, where they've modelled a, like a burning coal mesh in the firebox, and the more coal you shovel in, the higher it, 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 rises, it gets raised up, uh, but not in this one, which means that the only way to see how much fire mess you have is to actually, well, have the HUD open which isn't great because you can see the speed, you can see the boiler pressure, you can see the water level you can see all those things in the, in the actual, on the actual gauges but that you cannot which is unfortunate especially for an express locomotive where knowing how much fire mass you have is vital to being able to keep your steam production high which you need for high speeds but then again, this is a bit of an older asset. Hundred speed limit coming up. Ooh, doing ninety-eight miles an hour. Potter's bar. Anyone want an olive? Sure. Yeah, that did go by quick. Ah, another tunnel. Interesting. You to quickly close the firebox door. Hadley Wood. <laughs> hey, we're going to be passing Ali Pally again. That looks so cozy! On my, my face cam, I've just seen that, because those lights in the corner are off. And only those, only those here are on. Aww. Especially in the tunnel. There's another short tunnel coming up. Mm. We are losing steam generation rate and pressure. I do really have to shovel again after we've gone through these. Actually, no. I'll, I'm going to reduce the uh, throttle a little bit the regulator, just so we don't lose too much pressure. New Barnett, platform 2. 10 miles to go. Okay, that looks like that's all the tunnels. Open the door again, and continue shoveling, please.
yeah, you really notice it. If you if you stop shoveling coal for even just like maybe a minute or so, boiler pressure just starts dropping. Well, boil, well, steam generation rate just starts dropping so fast. New brand, uh, new Barnett. Barnett Stone. And that wasn't a very good picture. Okay, now that we've got a little bit more fire mass, we can increase the regulator a bit more. Ah, another train. We're at about... Hold on, is that a tunnel up ahead? No, good. Yeah, we're about 0.5 water level. Actually, no, it is! I did remember correctly. Hmm. Which means I've got to shut the firebox doors just as we approach the tunnel. And now, shut, good. Gotta decrease the, well, I can have the regulator on for now, but as we use up the coal, I'll decrease the regulator a bit more. Okay, now open the door again. Uh, me, good. Right. Drops it into a glass of water. <laughs> I th okay, interesting. You know, I didn't particularly mean in the... the okay, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I go hands on <laughs> Wait, you hand the ol you hand the olive to her, but put but you slip it in my glass of water. Hmm. Ah, another tunnel. Yeah, we're gonna need some more water soon. Oh, 95 speed limit. Ah, interesting. So we're actually now going at the speed limit. Close the firebox doors. Careful, it's slippery. And, and, we're, pass, we're gonna pass Alexander Palace. A little bit. Good thing you corrected your mistake. <laughs> yep. Okay, so, Alexander Palace should be up there. There you go, that's Alexander Palace. The speed limit of 95 still, yes. Good, and then there's a 90 coming up. Open up the firebox doors again. For some reason I couldn't find the olive emote for natural emote. Hmm. As in it, hmm, yeah. I don't know why. Okay. It's all good. Seeing as we've got to slow down to 90 anyway, might as well open up the injectors. And let's stop shoveling coal for the moment. Reduce the regulator. Finsbury Park. Oh, and then there's an 80 coming up. Okay, we're gonna have yeah we slow down for the night <coughs> for the 90 with a half a mile to go so we're gonna increase the regulator a little bit more Mecos doesn't have it as far as I know hmm yeah the character codes are really it's fascinating if you get into it and all the different sets and how it all came to be and Ah, uh, yes. It's a bit messy, but then again, of course it is. Ah! Aha! Aha! I caught it! I caught it, everybody! And there's a 65 coming up. Okay. Idle power. Uh, 
An 80 and then a 65. Already know. Good. Ah, train, good. So. Uh, gonna slow down. Gonna, gonna apply the brakes a bit. Couple of inches of mercury. Couple more inches of mercury, please. Hmm. Actually, 65. Yeah, that should be good. <coughs> Ish. A, a few, uh, uh, like an inch more. There we go. Gonna slow down a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And one more, one more, one more. There we go. Release brakes. Okay, there's 60, then a 45, then a 15. How many miles to go? Ah, only two miles to go. Well, that would be why. Let's save. Um, <coughs> excuse me, could I have a directions? So I'm by Alexander Palace right now. How do I get to Carnegie Hall? <laughs> Say it in bar. Uh, ah, B-A-R. Not, not Browning automatic rifle, though. Hmm. Okay, so there's a 60, then a 45. I need, to, I really do need to stay in here for the moment because of AWS's. And we're speeding up again, so I do need to apply a bit of braking here. Yeah, there's a 45 going to be coming up, and we're going downhill as well. Plus, there's going to be a tunnel starting soon, so let's start braking now. And there's King's Cross on the map at the bottom! Yeah, I need to start breaking much more than this. Like this, okay. We're arriving, yes. Here we go! Yes, yes, yes. Let's release the brakes a bit more. 18.5 inches of mercury should be good. Okay, now I apply the brakes a little bit more again. And that's why I was staying in here. Wait, what? Why is the... Oh, did I accidentally press backspace? Mm, hold on. I've got to quickly reload because I was I uh, I pressed Q but I accidentally pressed backspace. It's because the keyboard is a little wonky. Hold on, I'll be I'll be with you in a moment. I did actually get the AWS. I because backspace is the button for emergency brake. And uh yeah, because I wanted to switch over, I wanted to press function but because it's a bit wonky, it's right next to it, so unfortunate. But here we go, on the approach. So yes, we're arriving. <clears throat> yes, anyway, where were we? Okay, just approaching the 60, and then there, look, King's Cross is, uh, is on the bottom of the map, we're arriving. Finally, I got some real nice footage of the trip. Nice. Werewölfe? <laughs> we got a birdie. Okay, let's slow down for the 45. This time, don't press backspace accidentally. What? What do you mean? Okay, we're gonna make the 45. There we go. Let's just continue slowing down for the 15. Get ready for the AWS. There we go. Everything's looking fine. Maybe apply a little bit more brakes. Uh, 
Okay. We've slowed down for the 15. I never said Werwölfe. Yes, that's true, but the word reminded me of it. Okay, we're just about keeping our speed. Going to be exiting the tunnel soon. I said, where were we? As in, where are we? Oh, right. <laughs> approaching platform one. We are approaching platform one where this train terminates. Please have your luggage and baggage ready for departing the train. Let's just quickly save, just in case. Look at that. Don't want to stay out here too long because there may very well be another AWS. Um, do a long whistle blow when entering. Okay, here we go. We've done it, hurrah, we've done it, hurrah, sang the coaches. Please hold up y'all's pool table before departing. Ha ha ha. There you go. Long whistle. <sighs> I have to say, it feels good. Fold up, not hold up, of course. Ha ha ha. Just slowly rolling in. There's no hurry, we're early. Sigh. <laughs> Interesting draft with the smoke particles there. Okay, just coming in nice and slowly. Ah, uh, ah, yeah, there she is. Right, I'll be handing Curl over and I'll be going to. Yep. It was pretty fun. Yeah, it was. Although I have to say, the, my favorite part of it was the stretch from Edinburgh to uh, Newcastle. And stop. There we are, open the doors. All depart please, all depart. This is the final stop. Actually, I, I should get a screenshot probably. Also, the time, I need to know the time. Okay, 9.48. Ah, I just got that in time. <sighs> okay, haha. <laughs> Yeah, screech, slow down. <laughs> yes, I did slow down. Look, I stopped just where the fence starts. <laughs> quick, quick before the hat inter interferes. Yay, the timing, the timing. <laughs> that was the run from Edinburgh down all the way to London. And uh, 9.48 was the time, so uh, I'll quickly, uh, actually did I speed at all? No! Look! The only thing was comfort level exceeded 0.009% of time, that's probably just when it uh, spawned in, it jiggles a little bit. Um, but look! <laughs> the final stretch! No issues, no operation errors. Okay, now, before we finish this bit, I quickly want to look up the, my f the first part of the stream to see what time we departed from. Ah, yes, Living Art trailer. Please have a look at that if you haven't already. But that's not what, I'm, what I wanted to have a look at at the moment. Let's see. Um, 
Well, bye bye. See you all Thursday with MySpace art. Bye, Eliza. I. It's good that you enjoyed your trip. Thank you for the shoveling. It was very, very helpful. So, uh, let's see. What time did we actually depart? I know that I checked the time when we when I spawned in. Let's actually mute this. <laughs> Yeah, so here, that, that's when we started. Where, where's the time? I thought I had it... Okay, as we're departing. I know I turned the HUD on as we're departing for the speed limit. Ah, there we go. 4.30. Right, so 4.30 to... <laughs> 8, well, yeah, it was 8. It didn't sit, right? I said 8. Hold on, what did I say? I said 8... F was it 7.48? No. 9? 9.48. It was 9.48, of course. It's on the platform. Good. 9.48. So, there you go. <sighs> quite... Quite the trip. Quite the trip indeed. So... Uh... Right. I'll, I'll quick, quickly quit out of this. Actually, hold on, I need to... Let me quickly switch over to this scene and then do that shut down <laughs> uh, one moment one moment Uh, right. Yeah, uh, it's on the clip. Mm -hmm. uh, how long uh, did it take, all in all? Uh, let's see. Around... Five and a... Around five and twenty? It would be five... Five eighteen? I guess? Five eighteen? Five hours and eighteen minutes? I think? If I if I calculated correctly, if not, then please, um, uh, correct me. Shut down. Yes, shut down Windows. Thanks, Osman. Edinburgh, London. The final leg. Wow! Congratulations. Oh, did I calculate it correctly? <laughs> so that was that. An amazing journey, and an amazing locomotive. With lovely chat. And that was great. <laughs> so happy that I finally got the entire East Coast Main Line. So... I did not check who. Check where. Check where. You did not check where? So we've got... Well, 28 minutes left. Not 28. No. It goes the other way, of course. Sorry. 48. Haha. <laughs> 48 minutes left. And... Uh... <laughs> yeah, you may, you, you may want to recalculate that other time, just, just in case. Judging by that just now. <laughs> 48. Yeah, see? 48. So... Should we do, I don't know, we could do another little game. We could do, we could, we could, we could. Let's see. BI class 460? No, I don't want to do more train simulator at this point. That's the final, that's the journey and that I, I want to leave train simulator at that for now. Hmm. Bus driver. 
I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Well, okay, I'm going to end the stream and I might do that. I'll be in touch via chat about if we're going to do, if we're going to do something what, because we, I might do bus driver, but with bus driver, I would have to check something first. Uh, KSPF roll might take a while to boot up. No, if we if we did try it KSP, it'll take like 10 minutes to boot up and then for us to get into it and it wouldn't be worth it. So I'll thank you all very much for watching. This stream will be archived. We might be back in a little while with something. Maybe not. You'll see. If I'm live, then we're back. If not, then not. But with that, bye-bye. Bye-bye for now. Mm-hmm. Good.